Hello, in this session we will create a simple shockwave effect using the Niagara system. Firstly, we add a fountain emitter to create a Niagara system. To make the particles disperse in all directions, we remove the gravity force and set the velocity mode to from point in add velocity. Next, we set it to local space and properties. Set the SIM target to GPU to generate many particles and check fixed bounds to create a bound box. Next, to spawn a lot of particles at once, we remove the spawn rate and instead create spawn burst instantaneous and set the spawn count. And in emitter state, we shorten the loop duration to reduce the cycle at which particles are generated. Next, to make it spread out in a ring shape, we select the ring in shape primitive of shape location. Then we set the lifetime and sprite size of the particles and initialize particle as shown in the video. Next, to add noise to the spreading motion, we create curl noise force and set values for strength and frequency. Then, we return to shape location and set it to axis angle in the rotation mode of transform and add a random range vector to set the minimum and maximum Z values, allowing particles to be generated in a ring shape rotated randomly in the Z axis direction every time they are created. Next, we create a spring force to give a pulling force to the particles. Then, as in the video, we set the position attributes in particle equilibrium to receive the pulling force in the current position shape and slightly adjust the force strength and spring tightness. We adjust the drag value to loosen the spreading force a bit. Next, in scale color, we set scale RGB to linear color and add a curve to change the color of the particles over time. And in scale alpha, we set the key values of the curve as shown in the video to make the particles appear and disappear naturally. To make the particles brighter, we increase the alpha value of color in initialize particle. Next, we copy the emitter we have created so far. And in initialize particle of the copied emitter, we enlarge the sprite size and greatly reduce the alpha value of color. Then, we also significantly reduce the spawn count in spawn burst instantaneous to make the surroundings of the particles generated from the previous emitter glow faintly. Once completed, save it and return to the content drawer. And then, we place the Niagara system we have created so far in the level to check whether the wave effect appears well.